In probability theory, a probability space or a probability triple is a mathematical construct that models a real-world process consisting of states that occur randomly. A probability space is constructed with a specific kind of situation or experiment in mind. One proposes that each time a situation of that kind arises, the set of possible outcomes is the same and the probabilities are also the same. A probability space consists of three parts. A sample space, which is the set of all possible outcomes. A set of events, where each event is a set containing zero or more outcomes. The assignment of probabilities to the events, that is, a function from events to probabilities. An outcome is the result of a single execution of the model. Since individual outcomes might be of little practical use, more complex events are used to characterize groups of outcomes. The collection of all such events is our algebra. Finally, there is a need to specify each event's likelihood of happening. This is done using the probability measure function. Once the probability space is established, it is assumed that nature makes its move and selects a single outcome from the sample space. All the events in that contain the selected outcome are said to have occurred. The selection performed by nature is done in such a way that if the experiment were to be repeated an infinite number of times, the relative frequencies of occurrence of each of the events would coincide with the probabilities prescribed by the function. The Russian mathematician Andrei Kolmogorov introduced the notion of probability space, together with other axioms of probability, in the 1930s. Nowadays alternative approaches for axiomatization of probability theory exist. See Algebra of Random Variables, for example. This article is concerned with the mathematics of manipulating probabilities. The article Probability Interpretations outlines several alternative views of what probability means and how it should be interpreted. In addition, there have been attempts to construct theories for quantities that are notionally similar to probabilities but do not obey all their rules. See, for example, free probability, fuzzy logic, possibility theory, negative probability and quantum probability. Introduction A probability space is a mathematical triplet that presents a model for a particular class of real-world situations. As with other models, its author ultimately defines which elements and will contain. The sample space is a set of outcomes. An outcome is the result of a single execution of the model. Outcomes may be states of nature, possibilities, experimental results and the like. Every instance of the real-world situation must produce exactly one outcome. If outcomes of different runs of an experiment differ in any way that matters, they are distinct outcomes. Which differences matter depends on the kind of analysis we want to do. This leads to different choices of sample space. The sigma algebra is a collection of all the events we would like to consider. Here, an event is a set of zero or more outcomes, i.e., a subset of the sample space. An event is considered to have happened during an experiment when the outcome of the latter is an element of the event. Since the same outcome may be a member of many events, it is possible for many events to have happened given the single outcome. For example, when the trial consists of throwing two dice, the set of all outcomes with a sum of seven pips may constitute an event, whereas outcomes with an odd number of pips may constitute another event. If the outcome is the element of the elementary event of two pips on the first die and five on the second, then both of the events, seven pips and odd number of pips, are said to have happened. The probability measure is a function returning an event's probability. A probability is a real number between 0 and 1, thus is a function. The probability measure function must satisfy two simple requirements. First, the probability of a countable union of mutually exclusive events must be equal to the countable sum of the probabilities of each of these events. For example, the probability of the union of the mutually exclusive events and in the random experiment of one coin toss. 
is the sum of probability for and the probability for. Second, the probability of the sample space must be equal to 1. In the previous example the probability of the set of outcomes must be equal to 1, because it is entirely certain that the outcome will be either or in a single coin toss. Not every subset of the sample space must necessarily be considered an event. Some of the subsets are simply not of interest, others cannot be measured. This is not so obvious in a case like a coin toss. In a different example, one could consider javelin throw lengths, where the events typically are intervals like between 60 and 65 meters and unions of such intervals but not sets like the irrational numbers between 60 and 65 meters definition. In short, a probability space is a measure space such that the measure of the whole space is equal to 1. The expanded definition is the following. A probability space is a triple consisting of the sample space, an arbitrary non-empty set, the algebra, a set of subsets of called events, such that contains the sample space is closed under complements, if, then also, is closed under countable unions, if, for, uh, then also the corollary from the previous two properties and de Morgan's law is that is also closed under countable intersections, if, for, uh, then also, the probability measure, a function on such that, P is countably additive, if is a countable collection of pairwise disjoint sets, then, the measure of entire sample space is equal to 1. Discrete case. Discrete probability theory needs only at most countable sample spaces. Probabilities can be ascribed to points of by the probability mass function such that, all subsets of can be treated as events. The probability measure takes the simple form the greatest algebra describes the complete information. In general, a algebra corresponds to a finite or countable partition, the general form of an event being. See also the examples. The case is permitted by the definition, but rarely used, since such can safely be excluded from the sample space. General case. If omega is uncountable, still, it may happen that P0 for some omega, such omega are called atoms. They are an at most countable set, whose probability is the sum of probabilities of all atoms. If this sum is equal to 1 then all other points can safely be excluded from the sample space, returning us to the discrete case. Otherwise, if the sum of probabilities of all atoms is less than 1, then the probability space decomposes into a discrete part and a non-atomic part. Non-atomic case. If p equals 0 for all omega omega equals 1 could not be satisfied, then equation fails. The probability of a set is not the sum over its elements, as summation is only defined for countable amount of elements. This makes the probability space theory much more technical. A formulation stronger than summation, measure theory is applicable. Initially the probabilities are ascribed to some generator sets. Then a limiting procedure allows assigning probabilities to sets that are limits of sequences of generator sets, or limits of limits, and so on. All these sets are the sigma algebra. For technical details see Carathéodory's extension theorem. Sets belonging to are called measurable. In general they are much more complicated than generator sets, but much better than non-measurable sets. Complete probability space. A probability space is said to be a complete probability space if for all within all one has. Often, the study of probability spaces is restricted to complete probability spaces. Examples. Discrete examples Example 1 If the experiment consists of just one flip of a perfect coin, then the outcomes are either heads or tails. Omega equals h t. The sigma algebra equals 2 ohms contains 2 squared equals 4 events, namely h heads t tails neither heads nor tails and h t either heads or tails. So equals h t h t. There is a 50% chance of tossing heads and 50% for tails. 
Thus the probability measure in this example is p equals 0, p equals 0 0.5, p equals 0 0.5, p equals 1. Example 2 The fair coin is tossed three times. There are eight possible outcomes. Omega equals H H H H H T H T H H T T T H H T H T T T H T T T. The complete information is described by the sigma algebra equals two ohms of 28 equals 256 events, where each of the events is a subset of omega. Alice knows the outcome of the second toss only. Thus her incomplete information is described by the partition omega equals a1 a2 equals h h h h h t t h h t h t h t h h t t t t h t t t and the corresponding sigma algebra alice equals a1 a2 omega. Bryant knows only the total number of tails. His partition contains four parts. Omega equals B O B one B two B three equals H H H H H T H T H T H H T T H T H T H T T T T T. Accordingly, his sigma algebra of Brian contains twenty four equals sixteen events. The two sigma algebras are incomparable. Neither Alice Brian nor Brian Alice, both are sub-sigma algebras of two ohms. Example 3 If 100 voters are to be drawn randomly from among all voters in California and asked whom they will vote for governor, then the set of all sequences of 100 Californian voters would be the sample space omega. We assume that sampling without replacement is used. Only sequences of 100 different voters are allowed. For simplicity an ordered sample is considered, that is a sequence, Alice, Brian, is different from, Brian, Alice. We also take for granted that each potential voter knows exactly his, her future choice, that is he, she doesn't choose randomly. Alice knows only whether or not Arnold Schwarzenegger has received at least 60 votes. Her incomplete information is described by the sigma algebra Alice that contains the set of all sequences in omega where at least 60 people vote for Schwarzenegger, the set of all sequences where fewer than 60 vote for Schwarzenegger, the whole sample space omega, and the empty set. Bryant knows the exact number of voters who are going to vote for Schwarzenegger. His incomplete information is described by the corresponding partition omega equals BOB1, B100 and the sigma algebra of Bryan consists of 2101 events. In this case Alice's sigma algebra is a subset of Bryan's. Alice Bryan the Brian sigma algebra is in turn the subset of the much larger, complete information, sigma algebra two ohms consisting of two n events, where n is the number of all potential voters in California. Non-atomic examples Example 4 A number between 0 and 1 is chosen at random, uniformly. Here omega equals 0, 1, is the sigma algebra of Borel sets on omega, and p is the Lebesgue measure on 0, 1. In this case the open intervals of the form, where 0 less than a less than b less than 1, could be taken as the generator sets. Each such set can be ascribed the probability of p equals, which generates the Lebesgue measure on 0, 1, and the Borel sigma algebra on omega. Example 5 A fair coin is tossed endlessly. Here one can take omega equals 0, 1, infinity, the set of all infinite sequences of numbers chapter 0 and 1. Cylinder sets, omega, x1 equals a1, xn equals and may be used as the generator sets. Each such set describes an event in which the first n tosses have resulted in a fixed sequence, and the rest of the sequence may be arbitrary. Each such event can be naturally given the probability of 2 minus n. These two non-atomic examples are closely related. A sequence 0, 1, infinity leads to the number 2 minus 1 by 1 plus 2 minus 2 by 2 plus. 
0, 1. This is not a one-to-one -one correspondence between 0, 1, infinity and 0, 1. However, it is an isomorphism modulo 0, which allows for treating the two probability spaces as two forms of the same probability space. In fact, all non-pathologic, non-atomic probability spaces are the same in this sense. They are so-called standard probability spaces. Basic applications of probability spaces are insensitive to standardness. However, non-discrete conditioning is easy and natural on standard probability spaces, otherwise it becomes obscure. Related concepts Probability distribution Any probability distribution defines a probability measure. Random variables A random variable X is a measurable function X. Omega s from the sample space omega to another measurable space s called the state space. The notation pr is a commonly used shorthand for pa, defining the events in terms of the sample space. If omega is countable, we almost always define as the power set of omega, i.e., equals 2 ohms, which is trivially a sigma algebra and the biggest one we can create using omega. We can therefore omit and just write to define the probability space. On the other hand, if omega is uncountable and we use equals 2 ohms, we get into trouble defining our probability measure P because it's too large, i.e., there will often be sets to which it will be impossible to assign a unique measure. In this case, we have to use a smaller sigma algebra, for example the Borel algebra of omega, which is the smallest sigma algebra that makes all open sets measurable. Conditional probability Kolmogorov's definition of probability spaces gives rise to the natural concept of conditional probability. Every set A with non-zero probability greater than zero defines another probability measure on the space. This is usually pronounced as the probability of B given A. For any event B such that P greater than zero the function Q defined by Q equals P for all events A is itself a probability measure. Independence two events A and B are said to be independent if P equals P P. Two random variables X and Y are said to be independent if any event defined in terms of X is independent of any event defined in terms of Y. Formally, they generate independent sigma algebras where two sigma algebras G and H, which are subsets of F are said to be independent if any element of G is independent of any element of H. Mutual exclusivity Two events A and B are said to be mutually exclusive or disjoint if P equals zero. If A and B are disjoint events, then P equals P plus P. This extends to a sequence of events. However, the probability of the union of an uncountable set of events is not the sum of their probabilities. For example, if Z is a normally distributed random variable, then P is 0 for any X, but P equals 1. The event AB is referred to as A and B, and the event AB is A or B. Bibliography Pierre Simon de Laplace Analytical Theory of Probability the first major treatise blending calculus with probability theory, originally in French, Théorie analytique des probabilités, Andrei Nikolaevich Kolmogorov Foundations of the Theory of Probability, the modern measure theoretic foundation of probability theory, the original German version appeared in 1933. Harold Jeffries' The Theory of Probability, an empiricist, Bayesian approach to the foundations of probability theory. Edward Nelson Radically Elementary Probability Theory, discrete foundations of probability theory, based on non-standard analysis and internal set theory. Downloadable. http colon slash slash www.math.princeton.edu slash tilde nelson slash books html patrick billingsley probability and measure john wiley and sons new york toronto london 1979 heng ti james understanding probability a lively introduction to probability theory for the beginner cambridge univ Press, David Williams' Probability with Martin Gales, an undergraduate introduction to measure theoretic probability, Cambridge Univ. Press, 
Gut, Allen, Probability, A Graduate Course, Springer, ISBN 0-387-228-33-0.